Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I am Okpayemi Owoshini. The Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja has struck out the appeal by governorship aspirant of the People's Democratic Party in Edo State, author SNA, and Asem Ujuzwa, seeking to disqualify the party's candidate in the September 21st, 2024 governorship election. As we Godalo, the aspirants SNA and Ujuzwa and in their appeal, pray the Court of Appeal to set aside the April 17th judgment by Justice James Omotosho of the Federal High Court Abuja, which dismissed the suit for being statute bad. Justice Omotosho in his judgment had held that not only did they fail to prove their claim that Egodalo forged his voter's card, but non-possession of the voter's card did not constitute a disqualifying factor under the Constitution and the Electoral Act to deny a candidate from contesting in the election. The armed troops of Nigeria have neutralized 152 terrorists, arrested 109 suspects and rescued 91 kidnapped hostages in addition to the recovery of a catch of arms and other items. According to the latest weekly report from the Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, troops in the northeast Operation Aden Kai achieved notable successes including the surrender of Boko Haram terrorists, ambush operations and the discovery of UXOS. The report disclosed that troops also conducted arrest and offensive operations, neutralizing 63 terrorists, arresting 38 suspects and rescuing 335 kidnapped hostages in the process. The Katsina State Governor Jiko Rada has reaffirmed his administration's commitment to implementing the new 70,000 Naira minimum wage recently announced by the Nigerian government. He made this known during the public engagement 2025 Citizens' Budget Participation Process and launching of Community Development Program in Katsina on Thursday. According to the governor, Katsina State is poised to be a leader in implementing the new minimum wage, but are currently awaiting the Nigerian government's guideline on the implementation processes to ensure a smooth and effective rollout. And in Ekiti State, Governor Biodun Oyebanji has approved a work-from-home policy for civil servants in the state. The governor, in a statement by special advisor on media, Inka Oyebodi, in Adu Ekiti, the state capital on Friday, said that the arrangement is aimed at further cushioning the effect of the current economic situation on workers in the state. The new arrangement, which commences on Monday, September 9, 2024, excludes essential workers like teachers, core health workers in the hospitals, and security personnel, among others. And on business, the Corporate Affairs Commission has reminded point-of-sale operators across Nigeria that the deadline for business registration, initially announced on July 7, 2024, expired on September 5, 2024. In a statement released on Friday, the CAC expressed concerns over inadequate compliance with the directive, despite the large number of POS operators in the country. The CAC emphasized that it is working in collaboration with law enforcement agencies and other relevant stakeholders to implement a comprehensive enforcement and sanction framework for POS operators. And on the foreign scene, China has announced the end of its inter-country adoption program, a scheme that allowed Chinese-born children to be adopted by families overseas. At a daily briefing on Thursday, a spokesperson for the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Mao Ning, said China is no longer allowing foreign adoption of the country's children, with only exception for blood relatives to adopt a child or a stepchild. Mao did not explain the decision, other than saying that it was in line with the spirit of relevant international conventions. And finally on sport, the city of Paris will honor slain Ugandan Olympic runner Rebecca Cheptigai by naming a sport venue after her, according to the French capital's mayor Annie Iudago on Friday. Cheptigai, who competed in the women's marathon during the Paris Olympics last month, succumbed to severe burns on Thursday after being burnt with petrol and set on fire by her boyfriend at her home in Kenya. Cheptigai made her Olympic debut in women's marathon at the Paris Games where she finished 44th in the competition. And these are the major stories from our newsroom at this moment. We will update you at the top of the hour. I am Okbayemi Oboshini. See you next time.